All right, well, let's try and take this sucker off. So there we go. Oh, oh, that's not good. There's definitely a problem with the wing. <laughs> Well, we weren't able to take off, I'm assuming because we don't have a wing here. How's it going everybody? Dragast here and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We're gonna have an awesome day on Besiege as well. Get a little bit of air there. There we go in this awesome hovercraft. So yes, this is a hovercraft. It's kind of like a fan boat hovercraft. Looks absolutely awesome, but it's got a few tricks up its sleeve as per the usual on this, you know, things are not what they seem all the time. First of all, we can open up the engine bay here. Check that thing out. That's pretty cool. We can also open up the cockpit and you can see inside it's got a little steering wheel and everything. So the attention to detail is pretty awesome. Actually, I got an idea here, guys. Let me go. Is there any peasants over here? Did they, did they all die? Okay, here is a delicious peasant. We're gonna bring him over here, and you know what? He is going to be our pilot, if we can get him in there. This is gonna be harder than it seems, though. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. You just wanna go... Okay, that... Uh, he's not really in there. We need to fix this. Okay, he's trying to run away. It's it, it, it's clearly not happening. So let's just, can we bring him down a little bit? Because I'm going to squish him if I close this thing. All right, well, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to try it here. All right, slow and steady. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, that's not what I expected. I expected him to explode, but God damn it, we got a pilot now. Okay, obviously it is not just a hovercraft, guys. If we press one button here, we actually... <laughs> wings and we can take off yes it's a fucking plane as well this is great but unfortunately i need three hands with this design uh i guess we can glide here so there we go unfortunately i can't really control the camera while i'm flying this so bear with me our pilot seems to have perished unfortunately but that's totally fine this is just awesome why is this not a real thing hovercrafts that fly that's great all right let's go and try and do a landing here i don't think i've you know, I've done pretty good landings as of late, but I've never done, like, a perfect landing where nothing has broken off. So, I'm, I'm feeling this is it. A hovercraft, can I land it? All right, we're gonna turn around here so we get a decent runway, and we are going nice and slow. The good thing about this is I can actually turn off my engines. The engines are totally off right now, and I can just coast down. Now, if this isn't good... I don't know what- Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are these little wheels made out of? Seriously. Well... Uh, can we actually go back to... No, we can't seem to go back to hovercraft mode, unfortunately. I mean, it's kind of working, but I wouldn't really consider that a hovercraft, goddammit. It's almost like a plane with a seizure right now. It's just vibrating everywhere. All right, well, let's try that again. That was really fun, though. This thing is freaking awesome. It's also got some weapons on this, so we'll try those out right now. Uh, we got some crossbows on the front. Ooh, that actually... Wow, we got actually a lot of crossbows here. So, ooh, we can hit those guys in the back. Let's back up a little bit, try and hit these front guys if we can. Uh, the problem with the crossbows is they don't do enough damage. Alright, there goes all my crossbows. And when you don't feel like aiming, well, it's got a flamethrower on the front to make your life a little bit easier. So there we go, we'll flame these guys up. I'm actually having a hard time connecting to them. I, I burnt their houses, damn it, but I can't seem to burn them. There we go. Uh, no, they're actually not catching on fire. So you know what? This is what you do when, when, when you can't hit them. There we go. And it's also got a cockpit view. I think it's actually going to be fun to try and take off with this thing in cockpit view. We don't do this enough. Oh man, I, I don't know if we've broken anything yet, but we have hit quite a bit. You can see how fast we're going though. It doesn't look like we're going this fast when we're not in first person, but when you're nice and low to the ground, you can definitely see the speeds of uh, some of these creations. All right, well, let's try and take this sucker off. So there we go. Oh, oh, that's not good. There's definitely a problem with the wing. <laughs> okay. Well, we weren't able to take off, I'm assuming, because we don't have a wing here. All right, let's try that again. We're going to take off here. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, there we go. And we are now a freaking plane. Look at this, though, guys. This is actually... For, for a hovercraft, it works remarkably well. I should actually be able to do some stunts here. So let's go. Whoa, God. Oh, okay, can't, can't do stunts, guys. Can't do stunts. All right, well, that's pretty much it with this one. Starting off strong, though, this is an awesome design. I did not expect to have a plain hovercraft hybrid here. And a one that actually works really well as well, as you can see. I mean, it's got some speed on it. Let's try. Okay, we're not going to be able to land that. But we can crash it. There we go. It's, it's always beautiful. 
And remember the craze of water bottle flipping? Well, somebody's actually made a water bottle in Besiege. So let's try this out. If you don't know, you can drag ob objects in Besiege. So we're gonna try this. Here we go. First try. I'm, I'm gonna do it. And... Oh, fuck. Boom goes the dynamite. Ooh. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh. And boom goes... Fuck. And boom goes the di... <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh. And boom goes the dynamite. Yes, I did it. <laughs> that took a really long time, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself. I don't mean to brag or anything. Going for two. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, this one has me excited. This is called the Mechanical Temple, and it's supposed to auto-build an actual tower. So you can see, I'm assuming these side pieces get built. Uh, we got a lot of cog work in here to actually allow this thing to do it, and it's only one button. So we're gonna press the button here, and it's gonna do all the work for me. Hopefully it works out first try. We'll try it out here. There we go, and now it's going to start to build the tower. Oh. This is interesting. Oh my god, it's actually rotating them. It's dropping them. Okay, I don't even know what's going on, but this is intense. Alright, so it drops them down, and it's actually building it up. Kind of like a Jenga tower. You can see it's building from the bottom to the top, and it is... Holy shit, it's slowly going up. This is gonna take a while, but this is awesome. Look at all the cog work down here. My god, this guy has to be a genius. This is this is what I love in Besiege. Shit like this, you know, the things that take a lot of thinking power to do successfully. So, I mean, it's not going to be the most impressive of towers. It's just basically beams going back and forth. But the fact that it's doing it on its own and it has this own mechanism to build it, amazing. I just sit here and enjoy it. So let's just uh, watch it, shall we? Alright, and I think it should be pretty much, yes, done here as you can see. So that is so damn cool. We're gonna stop it from moving now, so there we go. It's a little wobbly. I'm a little <laughs> worried about it. But yeah, that seriously just made a tower. Now in celebration of the tower, we also have fireworks here. So let's pull this back. Oh, ooh, yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. So the only thing else I want to do is obviously try and destroy this thing. So let's, uh, let's try and do that. All right, and there it is built once again. So once these final few go in here, we're going to stop this creation once again. The tower is looking amazing, as you can see. Works every time. This is truly impressive. So that looks like the final brick. So we're going to stop it there, uh, put this thing in place. And over here, we actually have another creation that I wanted to check out today. This is another chain gun, but it's actually got missiles on it, as you can see. It looks absolutely fantastic. We also got a little bit of a first-person view here. Now, there is cameras over here as well, but if we go to this camera, we can actually aim this up. We're actually looking through its iron sight here, which is really cool. So we're going to aim that thing up. I think we're going to actually get out of this view because I do want to watch this thing from a different view. So let's actually go back here and let's just let this thing go and see what happens here. So here we go. The chain's got to connect. Once it does, oh, oh, okay, we're missing them. It's going so fast, we need to slow this down, because they are flying by it. All right, let's try that again. There we go. There, oh, it actually goes right through it. I don't know if you guys saw that. What the fuck is this shit? That is a big bummer. I wonder if I got to slow it down even more. That's a direct hit, though, for sure, and it's not even working. So you know what? I'm going to go. I, I, I just want to make sure this is the case and I'm not seeing things. All right, we're going to connect to one of these bombs here. I think we are connected to one, so let's just wait here. I don't know if it's the first one, but they should all be connected to this. This is an amazing design, by the way. So there we go. It's in the barrel, and there it goes. Right friggin' through the thing! What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, that's a huge bummer, guys. Anyways, that's a huge bummer because this thing, I don't even know if we can pull it. No, we can't pull it down because I didn't put... Uh, 
pulling on, so I can't really do much right here. Oh, I guess I could unpin it. That might be fun. So hopefully it's the right key. There we go. Unpinned. And holy shit, it stayed up. Look at this. This is this is this this is the best version of Jenga ever. And are they connected together or is it just Okay, it actually just stayed up. That was really impressive. All right, guys, the tower's almost done, and we couldn't get it working with weapons, so let's try the speedboat once again. Or, sorry, the hovercraft once again. <laughs> wow, why the hell did I call it a speedboat? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and fly this thing into the tower. I know I'm gonna get, like, 9-11 jokes now, but you know what? It's a hovercraft, guys. It's not a plane, so it doesn't count. All right, we're gonna try this thing out. So here we go. That should have stopped the actual building of the tower now, and we should be able to take off here. I'm gonna get a little bit of speed just in case we are going at about 50% right now, so... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. Don't do... Oh, it took me forever to set that shit up. Oh, what? Again? Are you... This thing does not want me to destroy it. What the... What, what, what is going on with this? What's wrong with you? Seriously. Oh, it's good now. Okay, let's hope this sucker doesn't fall over this time. It's fallen over quite a few times now, so I don't know if it's just because I got so many creations on the screen and it's lagging it, therefore fucking up the physics, but let's let this thing go. We're gonna try and crash into it with this. That should have stopped the actual building process, and hopefully we can successfully take off with this. So, get up a little bit of speed, there we go, and... Why? Why? Why do you do this to me? It doesn't even... Doesn't even fucking make sense! Why did the... Why are the pins not working now? What the fuck is going on with my game, guys? Okay, guys, at this point, I give up. <laughs> this just does not want to work with me. I don't know why it's not actually building itself now. It is all fucked up. I'm really bummed out because I wanted to crash something into that. It's obviously not the end of the world, but let's just see if this thing works now. I'm curious because it's been the second time that it's been destroyed when I've tried to take it off. So one final try and yes, the wing would have broken anyways. All right, well, let's move on then. All right, and next up we got this little plane. Just kidding. Actually, if you look up in the sky, this plane is meant to get to the actual creation. This is called Journey to Laputa. Laputa is a city made in the sky here. It's actually past the ice zone, so you need a non-ice freezing plane to get up here. Uh, the developer Draco has actually made one for us, so let's go up here and check this thing out. Uh, I just think we can't see the ground right now, because we can kind of see through it, but if we... Oh, 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 I'm having some problems here. What the... Oh, because it froze! Look at that! Okay, but we have made our way up. Oh, it looks like... Okay, maybe we're missing part of the ground here. There's some textures that seem to be not here, and others that seem to be here. But yes, this is the city of Laputa. I thought this was really cool. Just a, a floating city in the sky, actually past the ice zone. And of course, there's a very big tree in the middle. This is just cool looking. I, I just like the design of it. I think it's made for a story mode in Besiege. We're actually crashing right now, so let's just go to the other camera and, uh, yeah, check this place out. That is amazing. I really wish we had the ground over here, unless it's meant to do that. It just, it's meant to maybe look cool. But yeah, not much else to show you guys besides the very awesome floating city. This is obviously a very large design here, but it's running remarkably well. Can we actually go... Unfortunately, with this camera, we can't go in here, so if we leave this camera, uh, can we... Oh, we can't actually use the camera any higher than this because it's past the zone. So we can't even, like, really go around to look into the city. Regardless, really cool design. Love the look of this city. Alright, and I wanted to give the chain gun one more chance to see if it can do anything. So we are going to do some target practice here and see how good this thing is. So hopefully, yes, the chain is set up now. Every now and then it totally misses it, but uh, this should be good. So let's go to this view and yeah, let's start shooting. So first shot, come on, baby. Ooh, did you see that that curve? Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Did it bounce off? I'm pretty sure I saw that bounce off. Oh! Oh, it's shooting. I think it's shooting at my actual uh, bullets here. Oh, I love the way these things ricochet. Uh, it's not actually destroying them once again. You can see. Oh, it is going right through them. I don't know why it's doing this. There we go. We got one in the back. I think it, the thing is, it's just so fast. Sometimes the game can't even acknowledge that it's there. There we go. We got that one. We just need to get this final one. Come on. Yes. There we go. 
All right, so it's a little finicky, but once you get it working, this thing is just amazing. And it's still got so many in its clip, and it's working fantastic. All right, so that's the chain gun. I actually really am impressed how this thing works, too. Let's actually watch this again. So basically, these things are attached via rope, and I think what happens is the rope burns off once it gets into the fire here, and then the fire ignites the rocket as well, and yes, there we go. Works perfectly, just like a champ. All right, and honestly, this is probably one of my favorite creations in a while. This is the Type 92 OJT HT Valfrost Edition. Now, this is a hover tank, and a very, very cool one, as you can see. Very militaristic design, futuristic militaristic, of course. Uh, so yeah, let's try this thing out. Let's uh, kick her into gear here, and uh, yes, we are already hovering. This is supposed to be one of the most stable hovercrafts ever, so we're going to test that out and see. Oh yeah, that is amazing. So we can go up a little bit. Uh, you can totally control this, go back and forth. It's also got pitch and yaw, and you can put it into flight mode. As you can see, this makes it go a little bit faster, so let's see if we can uh, kind of control this here. We can lean it. Oh my god, this is amazing. And then when you're sick of flight mode and you want a more stable setting, you go back into hover mode. And as you can see, it just, it, I'm, I'm not even holding any buttons here. It is so freaking stable. All right, let's just bring this down a bit. I, it almost feels like a UFO. Not that I know what UFOs feel like, but it, it just it just works so damn well. It's so easy to use. Uh, let's try the actual aiming. So, oh, wow, it's got like a real crosshair here. Okay, so we're going to want to take this thing down. I think it's further than it seems, so uh, it's only got a cannon on this thing. So let's just try right about here and see what happens. All right, fire in the hole. Oh, there we go. We got it. You saw the cannon did drop a little bit. We got another guy over here. Let's uh, raise it up a bit. There we go. And bam, just like that. Oh, this is amazing. So much better than a lot of the other tanks that stay on the ground. This one's freaking flying. I don't even know where I am right now. I better be, be careful here. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That What the fuck happened? Okay, I, I was wondering why I was having a hard time controlling. This is probably why he <laughs> just burnt out of the air. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag there. Okay, it's so worth it to see this thing take off again, though. It is truly phenomenal. So you can just, you can just hover in there and just chill. And then, of course, you can spam it. I wonder what happens if we spam the shoot button. Does it actually recoil a bit? Ooh, nice shot. Yeah, you can see the recoil does affect it a little bit, but you can totally even that out as well. And you're totally fine. Fire one. Fire two. Fire three. Like, I can't do this with any other creation. I It's just so much easier to aim than most. Uh, just, just one thing you gotta be careful of is the recoil. And one final thing it has is some flamethrowers on the front. We're leaning a little bit. Let's uh, fix that. Oh, oh, wrong button. Let's uh, fix that. There we go. And fantastic. But yeah, flamethrowers on the front. If you do want to get close and personal... Let's uh, try and ooh, 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 don't, let's just try and land this. Ooh, okay, I, I, I did destroy it a little bit. One thing I would like to see is this being capable of being an actual tank as well. You can see I have my uh, back jets on and it's not moving forward, unfortunately. So it does only work as a hover tank. Regardless, one of the best hovering vehicles I've ever seen in Besiege. It just it just works so well. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, checking out some of the most innovative and unique Besiege Creations that I could find for this week. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.